Hello YouTube, it's Chris Harrier Pipes. Take two on the video, I just got a call on my phone. <laughs> I did knock the video off and it was a cold call. Uh, I don't really want uh, solar panels. The roof might cave in. <laughs> anyway, just finished my, uh, my day's work. And before I go up and cook, it's a nice day, so I'm gonna light the barbecue. Having a beer to unwind. Just have a bit of a moment to myself. I thought I'd make a video. Smoking uh, one of my fledgling pipes. Nice little prints. And in it, some delicious four-year-old Capstan Blue. Great tobacco. Maybe could have done leaving it for another year to get the best out of it, but uh, it's very, very nice. I've got another couple anyway, so I'm not too worried. But it's quite delicious. And I've got a pipe to show you uh, that'll be going up on the website probably after tomorrow. I'm uh, at Bruno's all day tomorrow. Um, so I thought I'd, I'd show it on here first. And if, if anyone's interested, you could just shoot me a private message and we can uh, sort it out before it goes on the website, no problem. But um, I made a nice uh, little billiard with uh, four die accent and a saddle stem. Um, I'll show you that now. I went quite dark on the stain, just for something different. Get some light. There we go. I haven't weighed it yet or taken uh, the final measurements, but a uh, nice light little clencher, small pipe. Size one, size two, something like that. Mm. Size two, probably. But I think the four die just sets it off. And uh, ebonite stem. And an integral tenon. So that, that's not the final finish. I told you, I think, last video that I've um, been working with Bruno on improving my, my finish. And this has just had one wax. And it's already looking nice. I mean, so nice, I'm finding, struggling to show you the grain. <laughs> but it's cross cut, it's got bird's eye on both sides. But very happy with how the, the finishing's coming out now. Uh, so thanks, Bruno, if you watch this. <laughs> All your little secrets will remain secrets. <laughs> and uh, it's not the only pipe I've been making. Uh, it's, it's just finished today, but uh, I've got another three upstairs. It's a nice warm day, so I'm trying to help the oil to cure. Uh, but they're rusticated, and, and when you rusticate a pipe, it, it absolutely sucks in the oil. Uh, because the grain has opened up and also because of the surface area there's a lot more oil on the pipe so they do tend to take quite a long time but it's worth it I've got one uh, of my fledgling rusticated pipes here to show you um, and you can see you get a good nice finish with a bit of patience So he's uh, a little prince, but uh, obviously I need to finish the stem and give it a little bend before sticking it up on the website. And then uh, also upstairs, I'll show you, I'll do another video this weekend, show you those, they'll be ready by then. I'm, uh, I'm off to Bruno's tomorrow for the day um, and I'll do some sandblasting of my stuff while I'm there. 
and uh, yeah it's been so by the weekend it will have been quite a productive week I think I'll have uh, well handmade I'll have uh, one two three four six handmade pipes be finished by the end of this week and then hopefully uh, another four fledglings to um, stick on the website as well so pretty happy with uh, with my productivity uh, this week and I've enjoyed it um, I always enjoy it I just got in the groove of it <laughs> so I've been messing around today with a I've been making a lot of classics and I wanted to express myself a little bit. So I made a, a horn with some Eldritch resin on it. I haven't done anything like that for a while, so I just fancied it um, as a reward for, for the productivity. <laughs> so um, I'm tomorrow I'm gonna blast it. It's gonna have a nice ring grain. There's one or two uh, pits on the briar so and some nice rings so it just shouting out for a sandblast but it's already sold actually but um that's that fellow there I said sort of, it's a horn but with a an oval shank which is a bit different to uh, some of the horns you'll see and uh, obviously it's taped up for the blasting cabinet so I can't show you the stem but yeah that's that guy and uh a nice little uh, Dublin with some nice grain on it, which will take a nice blast as well. Much more classic shaped Dublin, that one. Uh, than... I, I like messing around with Dublins. I don't have a set Dublin shape that I make. It's nice to do variations on Dublins. I can do a classic. <laughs> but uh, also it's nice to sometimes flare a bit more if you've got some nice... Um, if you're using the straight grain and it's following the straight grain and you've got some nice bird's eye on the top, then then for sure I will flare it out. Um, I've got a couple of rusticated Dublins, which are a bit more like that. Uh, upstairs, slightly different shapes. Uh, curing, as I said, and a, a nice elegant little poker that I'm really happy with. Um, so I'll, I'll do another video in a couple of days when they're all ready to go. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, what have I got coming up? Uh, I think uh, well, I know I'm going to the Confrary at the end of the month, um, and uh, I believe uh, Tom's going to be there. Tom Eltang and Greg Pease and uh, Nate King. I think he's going to be there as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to meeting uh, Greg and Nate. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing Tom. So that will be a fun weekend. Um, so a bit more time in my workshop, I think, because Bruno is doing some entertaining. Uh, so I've got tomorrow with Bruno and then next week it's all all in my own workshop, which will, which will be nice, actually. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Better help that back down. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so um, all uh, nice things to look forward to for the end of the month. And then uh, getting into June. Uh, busy times, I think, uh, with Bruno. So... So things are going nicely um, and I will uh, get some pictures taken of that billiard uh, on Friday and get them on the website uh, at the weekend. Uh, but if anyone is interested, feel free to message me. You can contact me on www.harrietpipes.com. Um, bear in mind, if you do a uh, request submission form, when I reply, and there's nothing I can do about it. It often goes into uh, people's junk mail. So do check your junk mail. I always reply. <laughs> uh, if not, uh, find me on, um, on uh, Messenger uh, through the uh, Harriet Pipes page on Facebook. 
uh, or on Instagram, just drop me a message on Instagram. So anyway, I'm garbling. Now finish my pipe, finish my beer and go and light the barbecue. So uh, take care everyone, all the best.